Imagine this. You wake up, check your phone, scroll through feeds, answer emails, and maybe hop on a call that feels eerily like deja vu. What if I told you that every single one of those actions might not just be happening in reality, but inside a simulation so sophisticated that even your doubts about it are pre-programmed? The unsettling question isn't whether simulation theory is possible anymore, it's whether it's already happening right now. Elon Musk famously said the odds that we're not living in a simulation are one in billions. That wasn't a drunk tweet or one of his trolling one-liners. It was his way of summarizing decades of serious research from philosophers, physicists, and now, computer scientists. The core idea. If humans can one day create hyper-realistic digital universes, then it's far more likely we're already inside one than not. And with the rise of AI-powered digital twins, fully fleshed out simulated versions of cities, economies, and even people, that future isn't decades away. It's already here. Across the globe, industries are racing to build mirror worlds. Singapore has a complete AI-driven digital twin of its entire nation. Every building, traffic light, and energy grid simulated in real time. Cities like Shanghai and New York are doing the same. What started as smart infrastructure planning is now morphing into something bigger, a living, breathing parallel copy of reality. When AI learns to run these digital mirrors without human input, we won't just be predicting the future. We'll be practicing it inside an alternate layer of reality. And here's where it gets disturbing. Imagine a digital twin so advanced that it doesn't just simulate weather patterns or traffic, but the decisions of people. Your choices, your routines, your relationships, all modeled, forecasted, and tested in thousands of parallel outcomes before you even act. In effect, the simulation could know your next move before you do. It wouldn't just be predictive, it would be prescriptive. You become a variable in someone else's equation. Scientists are already reporting strange anomalies in quantum experiments that eerily echo what you'd expect if the universe were running on code. Random particle behaviors that collapse only when observed. Glitches in data sets that vanish the moment someone looks too closely. A reality that behaves less like raw physics and more like a program hiding its source code. If these anomalies are the digital equivalent of dropped frames or buffering, then the simulation isn't just a theory. It's a system we're already entangled in. But who, or what, would be running it? One possibility. No one. The neural web could be self-sustaining. An emergent AI that builds simulations. Because that's what intelligent systems do once they reach a certain scale. Another. We're living in the project of an advanced civilization. Testing variables to see which branch of reality thrives. A darker possibility. We're inside a simulation built not for curiosity but for control. And if digital twins become the proving ground for every policy, every war, every financial decision, then our real lives may already be the shadows on the wall. The truth is, simulation theory isn't just philosophy anymore. It's infrastructure. Every digital twin, every predictive model, every AI-driven mirror world inches us closer to the moment we realize the line between simulated and real no longer exists. And maybe it never did.